This is how to deposit an open educational resource in the OER community in Harvest, which is the institutional repository here at the University of Saskatchewan. So here I have my resource that I'm going to deposit, Pre-Calculus Mathematics Lecture Notes by Lawrence Chang. You'll want to have your item handy to start, so make sure it's saved, in this case as a PDF and has a nice file name. Now is also a good time to do a last minute check and make sure that you have copyright permission for any images that you're going to use that you didn't create in the first place. You, sh you should also make sure that if you're using a Creative Commons license that you have that clearly on the work itself. Now that the file is ready, it's time to go to harvest.usask.ca to begin the deposit process. If this is your first time depositing, you'll need to contact me at harvest at library.usask.ca. Once you've been added to the appropriate collection, log in using your NSID. Then you can hit submit your work. And then here you can start your submission. I'm going to choose the Open Educational Resources collection from the drop down and hit next. So now we have the item submission process. So we'll start out describing our item, we will upload our file or files, review the actual content of the item, uh, talk about the optional Creative Commons license, the Harvest license, and then complete the submission. So I will enter author's last name and first name and hit add. And so it will show up here. And in this case, this is the first deposit for this author, so that's all we need to do. If the author has other materials, you can use the lookup to find their name record or to look up their ORCID and use that. If they do have an ORCID, it won't show up any differently here, but eventually in the deposit, there will be a little green ORCID logo that links to the ORCID profile. Next, we'll enter our title, Pre-Calculus Mathematics Lecture Notes. And then down here, the date of issue, which is 2022. Not every field will be relevant for everything. Feel free to use what makes the most sense for your item. Here, this section is special for the Open Educational Resources collection. So these initial item types are common across all the collections in Harvest, and the learning resource types are specific to the OER community. So here, this first item type for this item, uh, other makes the most sense. And then in the learning resource type, um, it's originally lecture notes, but this has sort of been revised to be a standalone document, so I'll be choosing textbook. Peer-reviewed status is only really relevant for journal articles, so you can feel free to leave it blank if it's not really applicable. And in this case, the language is English. For abstract, there isn't an abstract per se, but there is uh, a preface. And so I've copied over some text from the preface to sort of serve a similar function. Uh, feel free to adapt appropriate text as needed. The keywords here are up to you. You can enter a few terms that you think will be relevant to people who want to use your work. Uh, don't worry about putting in like 13 things. Um, two to five keywords is what I recommend. More is fine if you need them, but don't feel like you have to. And then for funding agency, there's nothing to add in this case, but in general, sometimes there will be a sentence that a grant might ask you to include, including the grant number and that specific wording. So you can put that in here. Otherwise, just include the agency if applicable, the description field for anything else that might be relevant. So here, And the department is going to be math and statistics. And so then we can hit next. And you can also save and exit at any point if you don't have time to finish your deposit, but this is the most work on this page, so don't give up yet. Uh, so now we can move on to the next stage, which is uploading the file itself. If there's only one file and it's pretty clear what it is, don't you don't need to include the description. This is more if there's supplemental materials or something like that. And in this case, we don't need an embargo, so we can hit upload file and add another. 
We don't need to add another in this case, but it will show you here that the file has been uploaded. So then we can move on to the next step where we'll review everything we've entered so far. So it's good to do a double check, make sure everything here is as we want it before we proceed to the licensing steps. So if everything's fine, which it is, we can move on to the optional Creative Commons license step. So this is something we recommend, but um, it's fine to not include one as well. Uh, in this case, the item does have a Creative Commons license. It's CCBY SA. So that means anyone can share the work as long as they credit the original author and share it under a similar license so they continue to pass on that openness to future users. So here you'll see it pops up with a couple options. So CCBYSA does allow for commercial use, um, but modifications require that they are shared alike, so shared under a similar license. Um, so this means most Creative Commons licenses mean that if someone wants to uh, share your work or in some cases reuse part of it, as long as they give you credit and in this case share alike, they can do that without having to ask you for special copyright permission which is usually what we want in this context where we're hoping that as many people will use our work as possible. This makes it easy for them to use your work and give you credit even if they didn't leave themselves enough time to ask permission or maybe they can't get a hold of you. So the final step next is the harvest license which is a non-exclusive license, it's a distribution license, it's not transferring copyright or anything like that. It just gives us the permission to distribute your work and make changes needed for preservation. So if we need to change the format in the future or move around how it's hosted at the university or something like that, this grants us that permission. So it's just a checkbox. And then you can hit complete submission. So this page comes up, it'll say submission complete. And in this case, it's done. And so we can go to the main page on Harvest and scroll down under recently added. It'll show up in a moment and there it is. The deposit as submitted just now so we can see we have our file and the Creative Commons logo shows up here at the bottom with the right license and uh, we can link back out to the rest of the collection from this record and I wanted to highlight this is the uniform resource identifier so it's registered with handle.net it's a bit like a DOI if you've heard of those which is a digital object identifier Basically, it means this item is going to continue to stay at this address even if the way we host this at USASC changes. Uh, so if you want to include a link on a syllabus or a blog post, website, CV, this is the one to choose. Thank you for depositing your work in Harvest, and of course, if you need any help or have any questions or suggestions, please get in touch. I'm Emily Hopkins. I'm the Harvest Repository Coordinator. I work at the University Library, and you can email me at harvest at library.usask.ca. Thank you.